Today we are going to discuss the Pool Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. We're going to discuss coats of arms in the Pool family, spelled several different ways, P-O-O-L, P-O-O-L-E, P-O-W-L-E, and also poly, and it also breaches into a little bit of pull. So, or a lion rampant sable for pool of Wales, descended from Lord Powys. His 5x great grandson were, was Sir Hugh Poole, who had son Gruffid Poole, who had son Reverend Owen Poole, who died in 1519 who had son Sir Richard Poole. Also Poole of Boxstead. The progenitor of this family was Thomas Polly of Boxstead Hall, son of Thomas of Codrith. Later there in this family, there was Sir John Polly, who died in 1593, and Sir William Polly, who died in 1629, brothers. And this was also the first quarter of Poole of Biddenham who descended from John Polly of Biddenham, the son of Richard. Now here we have it with a crest. This is said to be the arms of a Sir John Pooley, who was knighted in Dublin, Ireland in 1599. Now I assume that this is Sir John Polly of Columbine Hall, who died in 1612, an Elizabethan soldier of fortune, son of Edmund Polly and grandson of Edmund Polly of Badley. Here we see Columbine Hall. Now, another source gives a Sir James Poole who was knighted in Dublin in 1603 with an entirely different coat of arms. I'm not sure which is correct, but I don't think this one is correct. Next we have Pooley of Cheshire and Suffolk. This isn't stated, but I believe this to be the arms of Sir William Pooley, born 1562 of Boxstead, a member of Parliament. Here we have the arms of Sir Louis de la Pole of Cheshire. And without the Ben Sable, it is the arms of Michael de la Pole, alive in the year 1366, and Sir John de la Pole, alive in the year 1308. Here we have another for De La Poole. I believe this could be William De La Poole, born 1690, father of Michael and five other children, or perhaps his brother Richard De La Poole, who died in 1345. Now they both built a wool business in Hull, Yorkshire. Similar one found in County Gloucester. Now for the pools of Worrell in Cheshire and Pool of Shute in Devonshire. Sir William Pole, born 1478, believe he was granted this coat of arms. He was born in Devonshire. There was also Sir William Poole of Shute, born 1561, a member of Parliament, son of William Poole Esquire, who died in 1587 and was a member of Parliament. Here we see Sir William Poole of Shute. Next, the arms of Poole of Sapperton in County Gloucester and Poole of Oxy in Wiltshire. This belonged to family had several members of Parliament, including Sir Giles Poole, born around the year 1517, the first son of Leonard Poole of Sapperton, and he had a brother Matthew. There was also Sir Henry Poole of Sapperton, his son, who we see here with his wife in effigy. And there was also Poole of Oxy, Sir Henry Poole, who died in 1632 of Kemplin Oxy in Wiltshire, and of Merton in Oxfordshire, Member of Parliament. There was also Sir Neville Poole and Edward Poole. Next, Sir Thomas Poole of Poole, son of William Poole, said to descend from Robert Pole, alias Poole, 
who was Lord of Barrett Spool around the year 1280. And we have the coat of arms of the Poole Baronetcy of Poole in the county of Cheshire, a title in the Baronetage of England created in 1677 for Sir James Poole, son of James Poole, grandson of Thomas Poole. Here we have a list of the Poole Baronets all the way through the fifth Baronet who died in 1821. Baronetcy was essentially a type of hereditary knighthood where the title passed from father to eldest son. Poole of Geraldstown in County Meath, Ireland. Nathaniel Poole, who died in Ireland in 1685, was a sergeant at arms, the son of Perriam Poole, Esquire of South Cutshays in Devonshire, and the grandson of Sir William Poole. Same arms for Poole of Hay Warden in Flintshire. Randolph Poole, alive in the year 1505, was rector of Hay Warden and Neston, the manorial lord of Poole, son of Thomas Poole, Esquire of Poole, and his wife, Matilda Fitton. Poole of New Shoreham in Sussex. Now, this has two different crests that are very similar. It was granted in 1648 to Captain Richard Poole, the son of Thomas Poole and the grandson of Captain Richard Poole, who died in the year 1652. Poole of Fromm in Somerset. This is the coat of arms of Robert Poole, Henry Batten Poole Esquire, very long name. Alive in the 1800s, he was of Timsbury and Road Manor, a justice of the peace, the only son of Joseph Langford and his wife, Anne Pole. Or a Buckshead Ghouls. This was the arms of John de la Pole of Devonshire, the son of Walter de la Pole. Also born by John de la Pole, a knight of Harrington in County Sussex. Here we have Pole of Devonshire, which I'm not really sure who the bear was on this one. It looks like I have a note suggesting it could be Arthur Pole, though I don't have any anything definitive on that. Uh, there was also born by a Pool of Cornwall. Now, I did find a Reverend William Pooley, who died in 1795, a rector of Ladock in Cornwall, but this arms dates back much further than his life. Now, we have the arms of one Ralph Poole. Could be several people. I have listed here Ralph Poole, born 1540, son of William and father of Robert, or Ralph Poole of City of Chester, who was son of Roland Poole and the father of Robert Poole. Similar coat of arms with a Benlet Sinister. Wasn't able to find the armager on this one. Next, we have Poole of Bobbingworth in Essex and Poole of Radbourne in Derbyshire. John Poole, who died in the year 1680, was rector of Bobbingworth. There was also Poole of Radbourne, the manor passed to Sir Peter de la Pole of Newborough, Staffordshire, in the year 1369, and the hall was built for his descendant in 1739, German Pole. There was also Samuel Pole, High Sheriff of Derbyshire, father of Lieutenant General Edward Pole and Charles Pole, a member of Parliament. There was also Edward Satcherville Pole, Esquire, alive in the year 1824. Here we see an old photograph of Radbourne Hall. Another from Derbyshire. Wasn't able to find the armager on this one. If you know, please let us know in the comments. Pool of Wingfield Castle in Suffolk. Michael de la Pole, 1st Earl of Suffolk, born 1330, Lord Chancellor of England, and the son of William de la Pole, the Baron of the Exchequer. His grandson was William de la Pole, the first Duke of Suffolk, born 1396. Here we see the family estate of Wingfield, I'm sorry, Wingfield Castle. Another similar arms belonged to a John Poole. There was a couple John Pools in this family. Perhaps it was John de la Pole, born 1369, the fifth son of the first Earl. One in Yorkshire, where the leopard's faces are argent. I wasn't able to find this one. If you know, please let us know in the comments. 
or two bars wavy azure for Nicholas Pole of Norfolk, also Sir Richard de la Pole, Sir Walter de la Pole of Darnford and Cambridgeshire, who was a member of Parliament, and also a Sir John Pole. One from Oxfordshire, wasn't able to find another with three roses I wasn't able to find. Henry Poole, died in the year 1539, was created Baron Montague in 1514. He was the son of Sir Richard Pole, landowner in Buckinghamshire, and the grandson of Geoffrey Pole, Esquire of Whirl in Cheshire. Here we have the arms of David Poole, who died in 1568. He was Bishop of Peterborough. Poole of Bristol. Not entirely sure on this one, but I believe it to be the arms of Chauncey Poole, Esquire of Bristol, born 1720. Here we find a coat of arms that was also in the quarterly arms of Poole of Biddenham. And I have a note here that is very similar to the arms of Ralph Polly, Knight of Hertfordshire, alive in the year 1378, whose likely son Thomas held Codrith. Poole of Waltham in Essex and Poole of Alford in Essex, granted in 1569. Wasn't able to find exactly who it was, but two of my best assertions are William Poole of Pinest and Waltham Abbey, alive in the year 1600, and Thomas Powell, born 1513, who was clerk of the Chancery. And lastly, Poole of the Holmond in Stratton, Grandison, Herefordshire. Richard Poole purchased and extended the estate in 1703. He was the son of Reverend James Poole, born 1649, canon of Hereford and vicar of Stratton. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.